Hey folks, Bill Guthrie here. It is a video curator and it connects directly into uh, YouTube. And what you're able to do there is to start pulling uh, videos directly from channels and playlists uh, related to particular topics, right? So I wanna show you how this thing works. I'm gonna go over here to the creator and I'm gonna, first off, I'm gonna name my gallery. So let's say I'm gonna name my gallery, um, uh, gee whiz, let me look around here. What, what's of interest to me? Uh, fine art, okay, all right. I have some paintings up here. We'll call it, we'll do a fine art category. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is say, yes, please show me the related videos. And do I want those to be auto-played? I'm gonna say no. And I can change my dimensions, I'll just leave it here for now. Now there's some interesting topics here that we can do. What's gonna happen is that we're gonna, you'll see this in a second, we're gonna pull in um, all of these videos and then each of those videos will be created on its own unique post. So it is a way to very quickly build out a website related to uh, a, a particular topic and be able to pull in content related to a particular topic. If quantity is a part of our game here and that ability to get as many in as possible and to save you as much time as possible, then this is definitely something that you wanna consider. So we can link our pages together and then here's something else that we can do. We can say, keep synced with YouTube and what this means is that anytime that channel or that playlist is updated with a new video, our, um, our system knows about it and it will pull that, that in. So for right now, I'm gonna leave that uh, un unticked and I'm gonna hit continue. And then what we're gonna do here is we just do a keyword search, right? So, uh, you know, I could say, jeez, uh, uh, I don't know, let's say Monet, right? What happens when I type in Monet? So this right here is one that we always just dump that and we clear that guy out. And then all of these, you can start to see, there's all these videos about uh, Monet, right? I've got a, a Monet fake here on my wall, so that's what's making me think about this stuff. What we're able to do is we can then edit the uh, title, so we can make this our own. Now obviously the video is not ours, but we can go in here and update all of this information. So we can change the title, we can, uh, we can grab um, and, and change all this, uh, this information. Once we go through, if there's some in here that we don't like, then let's say, you know, let's say I didn't like this one, then I could delete that and I can clear the whole thing out just like it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that doesn't make any sense to me. So I can clear these out. Once I'm satisfied with this initial list and that's what it's going to do. You're going to, it's going to spend a couple of minutes with your initial list. Once we have our initial list together, we're going to hit create gallery. Give it a moment, and it's happened, right? So I, obviously I would have gone in here and I would have edited this stuff because so if I have keywords that I'm trying to rank for and things like that, it's a way that I can go in and I can get my rankings. But the, the gallery, all of those videos, and there are probably like 25 or 30 of them right there, they were already created for me. It was that quick. I didn't cut away. I didn't, there's no trickery with the camera. It takes about 30 seconds for it to happen. It says, congratulations, your video gallery was created and updated. Click here to view it. So let's click it. And then here's what happens. Now we are in just a very basic, uh, and this is a demo site. We have not done anything. There's no styling uh, on this theme. It's basically just the out of the box theme. So what, uh, that's why it doesn't look very attractive, but we just want to show you how this works. So now I've got my, um, I, I've got my topic or my category of fine art. I've got this title uh, that it's, you know, that it was long, you know, when I created it, there's the video. Now again, the video is just running regular. Uh, right now, we put the share buttons in there. Uh, you can tell someone's kind of being spammy here, all this junk that they're putting in there. Um, but anyways, I could have obviously edited that, or if I want to, I can go back in and edit the post right now anyway. So I could go in and I could clear this out myself. So um, let me just get back over there. So that's it. And all of those other ones that we, that we just created, they're all right here, right? So all these recent posts, they're just all right there. And again, the next thing I would do is I'd go back over, I'd go to, I'm not gonna do it for the sake of the speed here, but I'd go back over to the Smart Embed and I would say, please look for all the videos and I could edit them right there.
for. It is designed for people who are interested and are working in either niches or have business models that where they want a lot of pages, they want a lot of videos, they're, they are excited about the idea of being able to leverage other people's videos. If that's you, if you want to leverage other people's videos and you want to do it quickly and you want to really scale, then this is the, the one for you. We have three options below. Choose the one that's right for you. It really depends upon... Uh, how many how many places you want to put this plug in? If you want to do one, then you're going to start um, at the starter level. And if you want unlimited access to it, put it on unlimited sites and have unlimited functionality, then you would uh, choose the ultimate. So that is it. I uh, encourage you to uh, make a decision. So choose the, the right option below and uh, we'll see you on the inside.